At Stony Brook University, Google Chat is now available directly in Gmail. Google Chat keeps basic chat features from classic Hangouts, the previous chat in Gmail. Search for a person and start one-to-one -one chat, or click on one person's name to continue a one-to-one -one chat. But Google Chat has added functionality. You can now edit or delete your messages and add reactions. Even forward a chat message to your email. For even more options, click the plus button to add files, a link to Google Meet session, or reactions. You can even paste images directly into your message. If people who share their calendars with you have out of office on their Google calendars, you'll see that in Google Chat too. Classic Hangouts and Google Chat have group messages, but they are one continuous message. Google Chat has rooms where you can have separate threads for different topics within each room. You can add or remove members as needed, and everyone in the room can see the whole room history. Great for having everyone on the same page. If you had a group message in Classic Hangouts, it won't migrate to Google Chat, but you can recreate it as a room. You can also create group messages in Google Chat, but rooms offer many more features. For example, you can create rooms that allow external users to join, even at gmail.com accounts. Just make sure to designate the room as allowing people outside your organization when you create it or when you're recreating a group. If someone sends a message to a classic Hangouts group you belong to, the classic Hangouts bot will let you know you have a missed message and have a link to reply in classic Hangouts. Even though it looks like you can reply from Google Chat, be careful, you can't. Click the link to reply in Classic Hangouts. The Classic Hangouts bot messages are always history off, so their messages remain for only 24 hours. Go to hangouts.google.com to see messages there. You can tell what type of chat one is by where it shows up in the list. One-to-one -one and group messages are at the top under people. Rooms are on the bottom. Also, people and rooms look different. Click under people and the chat opens small in the bottom right corner within the all white background. Click under rooms and the rooms open in place of the inbox with a gray background and threads in separate white areas. Click exit full screen to pop the room into the bottom right corner. Or from the list on the left, click open in a pop-up to do the same. Need to take a break or change notification options? Click active to change other notification options or mute notifications for a specified time. Now Google Chat won't work with everyone. If you're trying to send a Google Chat message to someone whose organization doesn't have Google Chat turned on at all, for example, you'll get an error message. For more on Google Chat, see our full Google Chat video linked in the description.